Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you Thursday, 25 June. What a massacre that dollar yen was. We talked about it at the beginning of the, uh, of the video yesterday that it, it didn't quite close low enough. The 52 close um, on Tuesday made it look like it was going to be a fuck job. Um, then it's just it was just hard to believe it was going to be a fuck job because you know equities are getting smashed. But uh, indeed, a fuck job it was. 107.25, the high, uh, which for those playing at home is a higher high than Tuesday. That is um, sinister. Twice this week, Aussie on Monday. Uh, you know, we're half percent in the money. Things are looking like absolute hell. And bang, turn in the ass. Yes, or not yesterday, but Tuesday. You know, short dollar yen in the 80s. 08's trading. Getting ready to smash it through the figure. 08 the low. 108 points higher. And we're talking about apples. Does anyone like apples? My, my. Funny week. Anyway, rather than cry and whine like a little baby girl, uh, we should just move on. Because this is what trading is all about. Moving on. This chart's of interest, Cad Yen. Couldn't quite... Um, Couldn't quite get down through 35 yesterday. Looks like we've traded uh, 40 today. It's funny. Not sure what's down there or why this keeps uh, bouncing around. And um, but uh, CAD yen through 78.35 looks interesting. If we're risk off, if oil is lower. Oh wait, yeah, we are risk off. Oil is lower. Uh, Cad Yen might be a good horse, good horse to ride today. Um, let's just see how that rolls. Kiwi, waiting on this uh, 6383. Probably going to trade. You can see equities here, 3031, down to 20. Um, the 200 days at 17. You're just going to have to trust me on that. I don't feel like uh, putting it on this chart. Um, but um, a lot of people are going to be watching that at daily close below the 200-day, or some people sell it right through the 200-day. This is a this is the professional barometer for bull bear, the most basic indicator. Above the 200-day is bullish. Below it is bearish. Um, so something we always keep an eye on. We always have a have a, an eye. Let's check out gold just because of, you know, <laughs> went down to 64. Quick 40 bucks. Uh, just clearing out some longs yesterday. The liquidity in gold is so absurdly bad. Uh, I don't know how anyone stays in any position. I mean, we've, we've obviously struggled with it, but that's just... Uh, Silly season, silly town. Dollar CAD did what it should have done. Cruise through this 136.28. Now the next level is 136.88. Um, this is because our friend crude oil, here's our trend line. Looks a lot easier now in hindsight, but we all we all were there. It traded 37 and then back to 90 on this bar here. Um, so if you sold through the trend line the first time, uh, you had to wear 
two percent against you. Second time through was over the numbers, so it was still a little bit of herky jerky. Um, back down through thirty-seven up to sixty-five, uh, but then finally the dam broke down to one thirty-seven thirty-four. A little bit of sideways action here, and then some more movement down through thirty-four. Looks looks to be the way of it. Um, we'll see. We'll see how she goes. Crude doesn't look that great. Uh, second wave of coronavirus will totally screw oil demand, obviously. But, um, you know, the obvious trades haven't really been working that great. Uh, look at equities. Uh, so just trade price. Uh, trade around uh, your prices and your targets. And uh, keep logic. keep logic out of this. Right now, logic doesn't really make any sense. Euro, longs, getting smoked. Who would have guessed this? Uh, I certainly wouldn't have. Um, 111.70 is important because that's where the uh, strong hands, as they say, were lurking uh, earlier in the week. At 112.50, no idea, middle of nowhere. Uh, dollars are, though, budget was out yesterday. A bit flimsy um, down to 28 up to 40 down to 30 um, you can see this is the budget area and then this big green bar here budget and then back down to 33 and then equities carried this thing um, on its northern journey this is something that uh, people will have drawn. I think 42 was the bingo number. Oh no, look at that. 4361. Where are we? Right there now. Um, dollar Rand looks like it's going higher. 50 is obviously uh, a good little point as well. This high here, um, 5069. So uh, we like Dollar Rand higher. I think you should probably. Get some dollar rand on board today. Um, so we shall see. The liquidity is obviously not too great right now. 200 wide. 1743.20 at 1744.90. 170 points wide. Um, not, not awesome. Um, we like dollar rand higher today. Should go through 50 at the European Open today if if, uh, if our antenna is telling the truth. Here we are, Aussie 6860, uh, getting close to where we opened the week. 6802 is on our mind. I don't know why they say 07 was the low. 02 was the low. We were watching it. Um, <coughs> Aussie looks looks pretty weak. A lot of people were loath to sell it, um, just because they're just tired of getting their f getting burned. Um, I don't know where to sell this thing. A couple of lows here at 57. It's a bit. I don't know. Aussie's going lower. Should should be going lower. Aussie yen also um, should be going lower as soon as dollar yen. Uh, gets its head out of its ass. Um, Aussie N will also turn. 72.50 is sort of more of the obvious point in, in Aussie N. And you kind of wonder, is 72.50 going to trade the day that 106 trades? Because 106 is going to trade on a very awkward, unexpected day. It might be month end. Um, it's going to come from a, from a long ways away. People are going to be loath to sell down there because it'll be you know 100 points it'll be a percent down on the day but i'll just tell you in advance um i don't care how far dollar yen has gone that day um that's a break trade 106 uh and so it could be the same thing with with aussie yen and we may reach down here be down 100 points percent and a half 7250 just let them go uh down through there means something terrible is happening uh, and the risk on stampede 
will be underway. So Kiwi Yen, 68, 16. These are all levels that are going to trade the same day. Uh, so you just got to keep it in mind. And it's good to give it some thought so you're prepared mentally uh, when it does happen. Your Yen looks like a totally different uh, different setup on the charts, but CAD Yen, Aussie Yen, Kiwi Yen. Um, we like left hand side here on those on those little vehicles. Anyway, um, the calendar is. Uh, let's just have a look. Our trusty calendar. Doesn't look like it's too much. ECB monetary policy meeting accounts. I guess those are the minutes. 1.30 today. Uh, durable goods. Blow me. No one really gives a shit about that stuff anymore. Um, bank holiday in China. Nothing. MPC Haldane. 7 o'clock. Uh, no, nothing. So it's just charts and it's just news and it's just equities. Oh, let's look at equities. Um, 100 points yesterday. Opened at 20. Down to uh, 18. That 150 point day makes this little 100, 100 point day look kind of small. Um, people will be a bit jaded because of the 300 point two day move after the 150 point day down move um, but just keep an eye on um, 3017 there should be stops through there uh, 200 day but pretty bearish day a lot of bearish news I can't see any reason why stocks are here I know I know the Fed blah 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 liquidity uh, you know I know the story uh, but free cash flow is fucked earnings are fucked um, society at large uh, seems quite fucked and leadership is fucked this is um, a pretty potent brew um, so not surprised and I won't be surprised if we continue to go lower we got a little bit of a short on we'll add through the 200 day and kind of trade from the short side uh, like a little careful kitten. Um, but that's the plan today. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.